Hi from Diana and I. It's great to be with you again. When we bring this assembly into schools, we normally do um, a sketch and get volunteers to come at the front. But today we're going to use Lego people to do that sketch. So here you go. Here is a person who is in trouble. Help! I'm in trouble! And here comes someone else. Oh, this is hopeless. Oh, what can I do? And someone else. Oh my goodness, what a shock. Here's another person. Here's another person. Okay, I'm just gonna keep walking past. She hasn't seen me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just gonna just gonna ignore this. She, she hasn't seen me. It's okay. And one last one. Are you okay? How can I help? I, I've really hurt myself. I've, I've I've really hurt myself. Yes, please. Can I can I have some help? I wonder what these people are thinking. Look at the words. I'm going to come up on the screen and pause the video and see if you can work out which person reacted in which way. Who thought it was hopeless? Who was in shock or panic? Who ignored the situation? And who helped? Why do you think they did what they did? You can have a chat with your teacher and your class now. Which one of these might be Jesus? Why do you think that? And I wonder which one might be you? When someone is in trouble, we have a choice. We might shrug it off and say, it's too big a problem for me. We might think it's hopeless. What can I do? Or we might be too busy with something else. We might tell the person it's their own fault anyway. We might say, it's nothing to do with me. Or we might reach out and help them somehow. Let's have a look at a story from the Bible that Diana's going to read. The man with leprosy told by the lost sheep. It's not much fun being sick. A runny nose is bad. An earache is worse. So if you've ever been sick, you've got to feel sorry for the man with leprosy. He had blotches on his belly. He had aching arms and lumpy, bumpy leprosy legs. You'd think that everyone would be kind to the man with leprosy, but no. When he walked down the street, people would start to run away, yelling, Look out! Look out! A leper! A leper! His family wanted to hug him, but no one was allowed to touch a person with leprosy. The man with leprosy thought, Maybe God will help me. So he went to the temple, but the priest said, No lepers allowed. The man with leprosy left the temple, left his family and limped out of town. Jesus was strolling into town when he saw the man limping towards him on his lumpy, bumpy leprosy legs. Jesus stopped. As the man came closer and closer, Jesus could see his aching arms and the blotches on his belly. The man with leprosy knelt down in front of Jesus and cried and cried. Help me, Jesus. Everybody runs away from me. I'm not allowed in the temple and I'm not allowed to hug my family. I know that if you want to, you can make me better. Jesus's heart ached. He put his arm around the man with leprosy and hugged him. I'd love to make you better, said Jesus. And the leprosy vanished. Jesus and the man without leprosy jumped up and down and cheered. Hooray! 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 Now listen, whispered Jesus. Don't tell anyone I healed you. Just tiptoe to the temple and show the priest you're better. Have you got that? Don't tell anyone. But the man without leprosy was so excited, he ran into town shouting, I'm healed! I'm healed! Jesus healed me! Jesus healed me! Look, he said to the priest, 
Jesus healed my lumpy, bumpy, leprosy legs. Well, said the priest, you'd better walk those legs into the temple and thank God. Look, he said to the people, Jesus healed my blotchy belly. Well, said the people, that belly needs some cake. Look, he said to his family, Jesus healed my aching arms. Well, said his family, you'd better stretch out those arms and give us a great big hug. Jesus never turned his back on anyone who needed him. He would even help people with really big problems, even when it might have been their fault they were in a mess. If people asked him for help, he always gave it to them. And the feeling that made him do this was something called compassion. Compassion was the way he could put himself in their shoes and imagine what it was like to be them. Compassion made him imagine how he would like to be treated if he was in their place. We can show compassion for people around us and treat them as we would like to be treated ourselves. Sometimes it isn't safe to go near strangers in town, or especially when we're on our own. But with people here in school, we can try hard to feel what it's like to be in their shoes. Perhaps that will change the way we behave towards them. What could you do? Have a chat with your class and your teacher now. Let's pray. Dear God, please help me to notice when people around me are hurting and show me how to share your love with them. Help me to see people as you do, to listen to them and to hear what they need. I pray for your compassion and that I will know how I can help them. Amen.